Hello and Happy New Year. Welcome to 2022 spring semester and introduction to sociology. So really happy to get the semester underway here. Our class will be meeting on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 8 until 9.20ish. So I look forward to seeing you folks on this Tuesday. This video represents one of the things that I do in my class is that I'm going to be doing a video like this and posting it every Monday morning. At least that's the plan. And in this particular video, I'm going to explain kind of what to expect with the week. What are we going to be doing this week? What are we going to be covering? And in this instance, just sort of introducing the class, which is kind of going to be the sum total of what we do this particular week. So a little bit about me, if you've never had me in class before, um, my name is Mark Cavanaugh. I'm the chair of psychology and social sciences at KVCC and have been full-time since 1999, part-time. I was in 97 forward and um, love what I do. Uh, very uh, committed to uh, being the best teacher I can be and to helping you be successful. So please feel comfortable to reach out to me uh, with any questions that you might have. What I would like to do now is switch and take a look at our bright space component of this class, which is a uh, part of the course, which is online. You're seeing this video, so you have apparently arrived at that place. And so here's the, uh, the entry page into our class. And this section right now where you found this video, it's not posted because I haven't posted it yet because I'm creating it. This is where I'm going to post information when things are graded when I ch make any changes to the class, if I found an error, happens all the time, and I fix that error, I'm gonna be posting things on here. So don't wait till class. Go ahead and check into this website as much as you can, because I post when I finish grading things, when you can go get feedback on those assignments. If I change due dates or anything like that, this is the first place that information will be posted. So what I want to guide you to here is, aside from the announcement sections, we have the content section, pretty much the only link that you have to go after here, and I want to talk about what you will find. First off, as you come in, it goes to the overview and syllabus. There, here's a video about how to navigate the course, basic information about the class, supports and resources here, little bio on me, and then we come down here to the course syllabus. We will be going over that in class, but certainly you can read it ahead of time and you'll see um, how the class is laid out, the content. You go down here, here's all the, the assignments here, the, the attendance work 25%, the chapter quizzes 25, chapter assignments 25, and a combination of two special assignments worth 25%, uh, sources of information worth 20%, and the choice between the information literacy paper or the service learning pay project constituting 80% of that. So we'll be spending some time actually in class talking about those specific assignments. So I want you to be able to look at these materials, view them as they are, and then uh, understand we'll be spending some time there going over those in detail. So the next place I want to show on Brightspace is going to be course documents. And in course documents, you're going to find a number of links. I want you to go through all of these and read them. This is a uh, the course expectations in general, face-to-face -face classroom behavior etiquette that I expect, uh, sage advice for success in college from me, and then down here, the textbook and course book information introducing you to two books associated with this class that I want you to read. The first is a traditional textbook, Sociology. You click there and you can download that book for free. You can view it online, you can download it. There's all kinds of ways to experience that. And then uh, that's, that's kind of a broad-based, across-the-board, Intro to Sociology textbook, and then there's my Introduction to Sociology course book. In this course book is where you find my lectures, my videos, my content, a description of the assignments, uh, everything that's on the syllabus, you know, all the, 
discussions, all the, um, well, this is a face-to-face -face class, so the discussions don't count. You can ignore those. But the quizzes, assignments, and the special assignments are all outlined in this digital book. Now, this is new. You have, um, yeah, you can download a PDF version that opens up on any device. You can download an EPUB version, which is really ideal for tablets and phones. You can get a Apple iBooks version. Uh, you could purchase that. The only difference between that and the EPUB version is if you actually went out and purchased this on iBooks, I published them to iBooks, uh, you get all the updates. Every time I update, every semester that I update, you, you get to update yours for free. So that's the only advantage of that. And the last one is actually, this is a very brand new, this is a print version of the course book uh, that you can get through Amazon for a mere $29.99. And these are, these are options for people. You can get the PDF and they're all the same, it contains all the same content. There's no difference between them. I give them to you for free, but others have to pay for them. Now that course book looks, I'll get it queued up here, looks kind of like this. So this book is that contains all of the content that is from me. And so if I go up to the menu here, this is, a, this is on a Mac computer here, so it it's, might look a little bit different. But I can go to, here to a chapter one, Introduction to Sociology, and here's a, an attention-getting sort of place of this, the way I organize my content or attention, kind of make, gets you kind of excited about what we're going to be talking about. Then we go into the learning outcomes for this particular chapter. And then we go into the actual teaching. This is stuff that I'm going to be talking about in lecture. I'll be replicating some of this in lecture. You can read it ahead of time. There's movies that are embedded here. If I click this right here and give it permission, it's going to actually load that video. And this video in this version, in the EPUB version, will play right in the interface. It'll actually, it won't bring me to a website. It'll actually play that. Here's a link to that that works in the PDFs. And this is a QR code that if you get the print version, of course, none of these links work, but you can scan the QR code with your phone and you can look at the resources and links. So all the links in this course have those QR codes for the print version. Now, make our way through here. This is the content of, you know, chapter one. And we get to the end of this chapter, more movies, more stuff, all kinds of great stuff. We get to the assessment section, and this is where I describe what I'm going to ask you to do. You'll hear the chapter discussions, of course, are for the online version of the class. You don't, we'll be doing that mostly in class. But then if there's an assignment or a quiz, I outline all the uh, instructions here, and then there's, of course, a um, grading rubric. Now, if there's a quiz, you would see the questions for the quiz. And uh, so you prepare all of these things, you prepare all your answers outside of Brightspace, and then you go in and just copy and paste them into the quiz, or you upload your documents for the assignments, and you're all set. Included in the course book, at the end of the course book, is the special assignments chapter that describe that service learning project and the information literacy project and the uh, sources of information project that are part of this class. Okay, so the last section I want to, or sort of the last section I want to point out to you is back here on the home page is the course timeline. The course timeline, this is the schedule of the class. We have each week, we have the chapters and the assignments that are going to be due. The assignments are in red. Okay, you see the sources of information special assignment is due on February 27th by, at midnight, due on Sunday. You're submitting everything electronically, so I can have due dates like that. Don't hand in anything in class. And you'll see this first week, we're going to be meeting and we're going to be, uh, first day is going to be talking about the class. And on the second day, we're going to cover chapter one and you'll have the chapter one assignment that you have to do that you read about in the course book. Now, quickly right back to the website here, what you'll see down the left-hand side 
is these folders with chapter number on them. For each chapter in the course book, which correspond, well, let me say it this way. You have, the, you have the textbook, chapter one, then you have the course book, chapter one, then you have the bright space folder, chapter one, and they all correspond to each other. So you read the chapter in the textbook. Please do that to get the most out of this class. Read the chapter in the course book, understand and complete the assignments that are built in at the end of that chapter, and then log into Brightspace, and then you go to chapter one, and there's the link to upload the assignment for chapter one. So that's the alignment between the textbook, the course book, and Brightspace. So that's it for now. So I look forward to seeing you folks. Uh, doing some introductory things on Tuesday, and on Thursday we'll be spending some time in Chapter 1. So, wish you all the luck this semester, and I look forward to working with all of you. Take care.